Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try and do a speedy video. I have got to be out of the house. I need to hurry up. My weekends are so busy now because throughout the week I'm at work. If you watch my weekly vlogs you will know I have started a new job and basically I'm so busy through the week. When I get back on the weekends at my flat because I stay at my parents throughout the week, um, when I get back to my own flat on the weekends I have cleaning to do, I have filming to do, I have literally so much to do. So I'm just trying to cram this in. I have got to set off in about 20 minutes so that's great. Um, but today I'm doing an empties video. Now I have loads of stuff in this bag literally tons of things but I'm not gonna show you all of it in today's video because I do want this to be a little bit of a quicker video just so that I can crack on basically but I will do another empties video in like a couple of weeks time so um stay tuned for that stay subscribed if you're not already please do subscribe basically these kind of videos I just give my opinion on a product that I've either used up or stopped using for a various for various different reasons or oh, actually also if you've noticed I have a scrunchie in my hair this is actually what my friend Emma makes I will link her Instagram below she has a new little business where she her first launch is making little scrunchies it's so cute this is the polka dot one and she also I also purchased this one from her as well um and that's what it looks like so that's her social media if you can see that thought I'd just give that a little mention at the start but empties two of these this is the febreze fabric refresheners i've got the vanilla and magnolia one and also the um just the antibacterial one i think this one is this one was limited edition and um, the vanilla one i really liked this one it was so nice don't think it's available at the minute i'm not sure but i did really like this but these in general i get through so many of them oh my god i have another one in here as well yeah Oh my god, I get through so many of these because I love them so much. They make your flat or your house smell so nice. I just spray it on carpets, like any kind of fabric. So like my bedding um, or like cushions or anywhere that is a fabric basically. And it just, the smell lasts so much longer because it's actually like on something. So yeah, I love these and I would recommend. Oh my god, I got this, which is an air freshener. You cannot see it because this is just like the packaging, but it's the sweet pomegranate scented kind of like um, air freshener and it's from Air Sense. I bought this from B&M. Don't go and buy it, it's terrible, or at least the one I got was terrible. I did not smell it one bit and it ran out within a few weeks like the refill ran out and I usually get the one from Febreze which is like three little things inside of the like air freshener three cents and that one you can smell so strong and it lasts like months so not gonna get that again do not like that we have some fresh linen um, fabric conditioner I don't need to talk about that I don't know why I put it in here oh and we also have some um, morning dew scented fabric conditioner no is this normal wash no this is fabric conditioner i like that as you can see i get through fabric conditioner quite quickly oh yes right toilet blocks it's quite funny how these are all cleaning products so far usually it's other products i do have skincare things in here too don't worry um but this is the like in the system block i've got these from Lidl. it's like for the brand w5 and it literally all you do is place one of these in the back of your toilet like in the system part of it and it will hello i heard a beep and i don't know where my phone is oh it's there um so yeah you pop it in the back of the system and whenever you flush the toilet blue water will come through it just keeps everything nice and fresh and i like to flush the toilet and see the water that kind of flushes be like nice and blue i just love it and these last ages like i'll put one of these in and a month later it's still going strong so yeah i would recommend these sorry my dad did just message me this is hamster treats so this is the yogurt drops from pets at home um this is just the ones that i kind of give stanley he's obsessed with these he loves them i'm going to pets at home later today i'm gonna get him some more he really loves them i don't give him them too often because it is like a real treat for him but you get a lot in a packet and he loves them so if you had a hamster you probably will love them too i also ran out of this so this is the body shop lemon purifying face wash it says it helps to wash away bacteria and impurities and yeah i really loved this it was it's up there with one of my favorite face washes if not my favorite 
actually i think it is my favorite all-time face wash because it just has everything in one it's so softening to the skin but also clears the skin and cleans it at the same time i like my skin to feel super clean but also soft and this gives that i love the smell of it i love everything about it and i genuinely am honest with my opinions when it comes to products so yeah this is a winner for me love that ah we have a zaflora um, so I ran out of the Bluebell Woods Sephora. If you know and you follow my channel, you will know that I love Sephora and I'm obsessed with it. And yeah, this one was a good one. I liked it. It was like my spring scented one. Um, I've tried the grapefruit one as well and I'm now on to like the bouquet scented one, which I really really like that one and yeah i liked it but i think the flora in general is just amazing just go and buy it also if you can hear like my throat i do have a slight cold don't worry it's not covid but um yeah i do have a cold so yeah right um i didn't quite run out of this but i thought you know what it's probably unhygienic the amount of time like the the length of time that i've had this so this is the body shop oils of life intensely revitalizing essence lotion this is a great product it's very moisturizing to the skin it's very hydrating like it makes your skin feel super soft you have to give it a bit of a shake because it is like oil and water in here and they obviously um are immiscible so they don't mix together so you have to mix it yourself and then put it into your hands um so yeah oil is not water soluble basically um so make sure to give it a good shake but it does work really well i just wasn't really reaching for it sort of when it got to the end and i just felt like it's probably got bacteria in it like because i've had it for so long basically but i would recommend this if you like kind of having soft skin it's nice i also ran out of the body shop skin defense multi protection lotion this has spf 50 in it and yeah i really liked this it lasted me months and months like probably six months and i'm the kind of person who wears spf every single day without fail i will put it on my skin down my neck and on my ears as well every single day and you should too wear spf every day even through winter the sun is still there if you see somebody um that's like in their 50s or 60s and they've got good skin the chances are they wear sun cream every single day or they have done throughout their life because you want to protect your skin from the sun for various different reasons but one of the reasons is aging so yeah this is a good one i do prefer the body shop vitamin c spf though that's just my personal preference but this is good as well I ran out of the Dove Derma Spa Summer Revived Body Lotion. This is actually a tanner. It has self-tanner in it. So it's a body lotion and self-tanner. It's a gradual tan. I actually really like this one. Um, I like gradual tans in general because I feel like they last longer. And also I just feel like they don't really get kind of messy or anything like that. And I just like them in general. Um, but yeah, this particular one I do quite like. I feel like it looks quite natural and that's what I like about it. Um, I have repurchased it. It's chilling over there in a the pot over there. So yeah, this is probably my fourth one of these I've used. Lidl shampoo. So this is from Lidl and it's the ultimate volume shampoo. And I love this. This is like my fourth bottle and i've got another one in my shower this is my favorite shampoo for my hair ah we have this we have a negative review everybody um so this is from fabulosa and it's the um foam freshener and i think the scent is electrified but i don't know if that's an actual scent like that doesn't really tell me anything it smells really nice but there's a few things i'm not too keen on with this so basically when i spray it on my carpets which is what it's for the smell of it gets to the back of my throat and it makes me want to sneeze and cough quite you know badly that's my problem not the product's problem but my issue with this is that it clogged up really quickly there is still loads of product in here but the the thing clogged up and this is the second bottle that that's happened to so if this hasn't happened to you great but it's happened to me twice and i don't think i'm doing anything wrong i give it a good shake before i use the product and everything but yeah it's clogged up and now it won't come out so yeah great basically because i love this stuff like i love um carpet foams and things like that because it does make everywhere smell super nice we have the w5 citrus zest scented room spray from lidl just a casual room spray nothing interesting to report from boots i've got this vitamin c brightening eye gel when it comes to eye creams or eye gels you don't really know if they're doing much until later on in life also at my age i don't necessarily need to use an eye cream yet but um yeah it was cooling but i can't really give a review of this i'm sorry 
we have the sanctuary spa sensuous shower oil um i base oh god there's a little bit left but it's very 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 old um if i told you how old this was you would cry um basically i i didn't open this until about a year ago or probably six months ago but the actual product was manufactured in 2003 so yeah, <laughs> not good. Um, but yeah, I like shower oils. I still used it even though it was manufactured back then. And um, I liked it. I like a shower oil, very softening to the skin. We've actually working our way through this entire bag, but I still have other empties like that I haven't put in this bag. Um, so I will still film another one of these soon. Um, we have the Co-op shower gel. It's got chamomile and jojoba oil. I wanted to include this because I specifically really liked this. The smell of it, it was very softening to the skin. And if you're looking for a shower gel that's actually super nice smelling, lathers up really well, you feel really clean and also soft, this is a good one. Final two things, we have the Nivea um, Hydra Care like lip balm. It's got SPF 15 in it, which I liked about this product is the SPF element because you don't really think to kind of have lip products with SPF in them, but obviously your lips are still exposed to the sun, so you still need to think about that. So yeah, I did really like that. And then finally, it's just this deodorant. It's the soft and gentle pink cotton with jasmine and cocoa milk um, deodorant really liked this i really like all of the deodorants that i get from lidl these this is just from lidl and i like roll on better than sprays because i find sprays can get to my throat i'm quite my throat is quite sensitive to like candles and sprays and things like that like it will make my my throat start hurting and want to cough so um i like to use um roll-ons but yeah that is the end of the bag that is everything for this empties video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed i will be back on monday with weekly vlog number four see you then goodbye